it's really important that we understand just how important uh, the spoken literature and the written word music how important that is when we leave when we leave it and in terms of what the history and the legacy that's left uh, to be added to the archives of art and so as musicians I really do think that we have a responsibility a lot of people you know what I'm saying when I said freedom of expression and I just talk about the condition that's that's I understand that plain and simple but when you have an entity that is commercially prospering and continues to encourage for you to make music that is so low down and so filthy that now that you start to be recognized all over the world as this animal then it starts time for you to revamp your thought process no matter how much money you get paid because you're making your whole race of people look bad and we've gotten to a point where it's so individualized here in America and so individualized and they succeeded in the brainwashing of African uh, people the nature of them that we are willing to sell our sisters out sell our mothers out sell ourselves out to get paid and then when we get paid we don't do anything on a collective level to enhance the conditions Individually, we mimic what the white man does. To me, that's the biggest travesty in this uh, America colonialism because that is what has happened to us as black people. You would think that we would have enough knowledge and enough talent. We've done so many things on a large level. We've run cities, we've been governors, and not taking anything away from the other groups of human uh, that we have to share the planet with but we're the only ones that don't have a language base we're the only ones who don't have anything that we connected to except white simul simulation and so for white people to think that American have American in terms of Africans in America will be better off just assimilating it's in our DNA to have a connection just like it's in yours. So it's real difficult when we've allowed ourselves to take on the mindset of our oppressor, show that reflection in our art, but at the same time, continue to let the um, art only represent the most foolish and the most lowest levels of our existence. And for us to keep perpetuating those uh, uh, vibrations so we can continue to get more of it in our community. We get more of it when you keep talking about guns, 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 and shooting, 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 bling, bling, bling. Then you get more of the same. So there's a concerted effort, in my opinion, wow, to keep us uneducated, stupid. Um, and it actually individualistic and that's what happens now of course I don't think that uh, a person or a group of people should be under a dictatorship but to some degree that's what we are now but I really do believe uh, blacks Africans that are here in America need a strong economic base and I think all our energy should be geared towards uh, setting up an economic base uh, for our race of people so we may do business with other groups and get ourselves out of this wretched condition we need to begin to look into and take advantage of and become you know the cornerstone for ourselves because the, the more we continue to wait and look for somebody to take us out of the condition the more sicker we are going to become and that's beginning to be real self-evident 
I mean, we can see it. We can see it in all aspects, all aspects of our everyday living. So, I say this to say, we need to elevate our vibration. We need to get ourselves in order. Not, I understand all the social engineering. I understand all the obstacles, the chemical, biological uh, warfare that has been set up to purposely distract us as black folk. But the more we continue to fall into these traps, and I know I've fallen to, uh, I have fallen into a lot of them myself. There have been battles that I had to win and I had to fight, but that's okay because that's what allows me to teach and that's what allows me to say these are traps there's a ditch up yonder don't you fall in it so I think it's important that we begin to teach our little girls uh, that they're and I don't mean just on a superficial level that they're special we have to be able to teach them what their responsibility and what their roles are as females on the planet. And you can't do that if, if you don't know. So we're going to have to get back to re-educating our females. So she may step back to her rightful place and begin to nurture and heal the wounds of the world. Because right now, when we can start doing songs like Busted Baby, and have little kids and young women consider themselves busted baby and not feel that it's something that's derogatory because everybody's doing it or when they have become so materialistic that they really have a coach and a duchy or I mean whatever <laughs> type of dookie, duty and burp or all those crazy crazy fads and we all did it as teenagers I mean we all had our rebellion because we all we understand that the age of uh, uh, young adult is to rebel yeah absolutely absolutely but guess what this generation here is rebelling but against nothing themselves what do you think Huey Newton was doing they were young folks they were rebelling and they rebel in a correct way okay because they took some of that energy and used it in a positive uh, vein nowadays everybody want to be a rapper everybody want to rap about the conditions in the ghetto why don't you rap about teaching your people some real damn knowledge to me that would be a much more, more powerful and much more effective rap but you know what? Your record company wouldn't buy it, would it? Why don't you tell the truth? Why don't some of you rappers come out and tell the truth that you are locked in and playing a game for the white man? Lock, come out and tell them how if you decide to start teaching some consciousness because now you are businessmen and you've traveled all over the world and you see racism like you've never seen it before. You've seen your money still can't get you in some places that you wanted to go. Why can't you talk about the real deal on a real level? And why won't you? And why do you keep feeding your, pe your people garbage? Okay? Why do you continue to do this? Because you, that's my challenge to all of you, rappers. I, that, my challenge to you is that. Are you free? Fitty? You know? Are you free, really? Because you can buy, because you, you can buy up everything. Uh, you can buy this and you can buy that. Please. Please. You're, you're a clown in a monkey suit. And they know it. Keep on calling your woman bitch and hoe. They'll pay you for that. They'll pay you to keep.